Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use the response viewer in Epiphany. To use the response viewer, first enter your API URL and any headers required to make your API request. Then click the preview button here in the import tab or in the manage tab. When you click the preview button, you'll see a message saying that the API request will be run in order to get the fields. If you're okay with that, go ahead and click Run. When the response viewer opens up, you'll see five different columns. The first column is Field. These are the API fields that will be imported into your spreadsheet. If you don't want a certain field to be imported, all you have to do is deselect or uncheck that field. You can also expand and unexpand fields. So for example, under the data field is all these fields, and if we unexpand the data field, it closes all of those fields. If we don't want any of the fields under the data field to show up in our spreadsheet, then all we have to do is unselect that specific field. Then we have the source field name. This column shows you what the name of that field is from the API source. We also have the column heading name, which is um, the, you can, cut, you can create a custom column heading if you wish. For example, if we want the column heading name to say data instead of data.id, then we can change it like that. We have a filter column and we have a dropdown where we can choose greater than, greater than or equal than, less than, less than or equal than, equals or contains. And we also have a value field where we can enter a value um, for that filter. So in this example, I've unselected the data field and I'm going to click the save button, then I'm gonna click the close button. And finally, I'm gonna click the run button to run my API request. And that's it. You can see that we got all the status fields um, and we did not get the fields that we unselected which were the data fields. Now let's say we wanted to import the data fields and not the status field. So I'm going to unselect status fields and leave the data fields selected. Click save, click close, click run. And you can see here, now we got the data fields and the status fields were left out. So you can use the response viewer to customize your API imports, whether you want to uh, um, exclude certain fields from your API request, uh, or you want to filter for specific values, or you want to change your column heading names you can do that using the response viewer. All right, enjoy and let us know if you have any questions.